so now we're here in the archives, the Cranbrook archives here at the Canadian Museum of Rail Travel. Now, Damon, what's in here? There's lots of stuff in here. There's uh, newspapers going back to 1898 um, of the Cranbrook Herald, the Prospector, and the Cranbrook Courier, and uh, as well as we have lots of photos that are just from rail to Cranbrook history. Um, and we have uh, lots of different reference material as well that for research. So there's lots for people to really explore and if, they, if they're interested in, say, genealogy or just uh, researching or doing a story in something around town. And I have to mention the white gloves. I kind of feel like Michael Jackson right now. But what's the, what, what's the reason behind these lovely um, gloves? So uh, the gloves are used to when you're handling artifacts or um, archival material because no matter how much you wash your hands, there's usually oils left on. And the other thing people don't th think of, and so these oils can transfer to art um, uh, material, and particularly if you think about metal. There's salt in, our, in um, the oils in our hands. Super important to wear the gloves yeah. if you've been here. And on that note, the public, do they have access to, to the archives? Uh, yeah, I mean, there, there are some challenges there, but for the most part, um, uh, we do a lot of research. This summer, I was actually surprised at how many people were coming to the archives or um, emailing us and, and on requests of research stuff they were looking at. Now, I'm not going to find any history of my family here, that's for sure, but yeah. it's, it's neat even to just look through some of the newspapers. I mean, we yeah. were just looking through a newspaper and we saw the article on, on the Titanic, when yeah. the Titanic sunk. So, you know, seeing that kind of stuff is pretty neat. And yeah. is that something the, the museum wants to kind of promote to the public? Yeah, I think, I mean, I think uh, any archives, I mean, it's here for the public, you know, it's, it's, you know, we're not just protecting it just because, you know, it should, we're protecting it for people can use it. Right, so people 100 years from now, if we protect it properly, hopefully they can come and use it. But that also means people even now, if they come in and are doing research on something, um, they should have access to that as well. And how do people, they just can just show up at the, is there a certain times they can come here? Um, I mean, if they, if, if, if they need to and it's kind of a spur of moment thing, I mean, it's much more helpful if they email us or call us. My staff can know, do some um, pre-research for them and have stuff ready for them. So when they come here, so it, it makes it quicker for them.